Uh, my name is Michael Cook, and I work for the Executive Office of Immigration on the uh, OIT side of the network. I heard about Think Tank after I just finished uh, my CCNA. I had been studying for CCNA, and I took the test and I failed. Then I tried and took another boot camp course. It was pretty good, but it wasn't like Think Tank, and I, I passed barely the CCNA. So someone told me, hey, have you heard about Think Tank? And I, I got online and I, I looked at some of the things that you guys have done. And I said, well, when I take my CCNP, I'm going to sit down with Think Tank and go with them and learn from them. After watching all the different things that you guys train and teach and how you explain the material, it helped me a lot better when I took the CCNP course. I wanted to look at the data and video side because on our team, we we're stretched and we need functional members that can be able to handle certain scenarios when other team members are not available. So I looked into the CCMP collaboration, but I felt more confident this time around when I took the test, passed, had a, you know, just like the answer just kind of came to me. 20 years ago, I would have grabbed myself by the head and said, you need to start delving into Cisco and the technologies now. You need to be in this course learning this material now. So we're connected to PC1. Uh, this is the, we're using IP communicator in this particular lab on a couple of virtual PCs. Uh, we're actually using physical hardware in this case, but because we can't demonstrate physical phones, we're gonna use these virtual phones. But the first thing that I need to uh, identify on these phones is to make sure that my network settings are correct. The device name for this device should be actually HQ-CIPC1. That's how it's provisioned in Unified Communications Manager and the TFTP server is 10.1.5.5. Uh, my name is Jerry Brown and um, retired U.S. Navy Chief uh, from Louisiana and uh, currently work with the Department of Justice um, Executive Office of Immigration Review. We had hired uh, a guy to come out and do some training for us, uh, get that guy certified so they can actually go out and do mission deployments. And it just so happened he couldn't do the training, but he had a guy that he said could do the training for him, and it was Scott. So. <laughs> That's a one day with Scott, we like, all right, this is the guy we want from now on. We're not going to fool with the other guy no more. So from that point on, we just started using Scott for all of our training. It, the best part about it is he don't just teach you what you need to pass the exam. He teaches you actual stuff that you're going to actually see or do out there. And then to be able to reach back to him, because we, we had issues on certain networks. Um, over the years, and it's like, hey, Scott, man, we're having this problem. Man, you, you ever heard or seen this before? And then he'll sit down with you, like, this is what I've seen, you know, yeah, maybe you could try this. And it, it works. <laughs> so, uh, always, always uh, enjoy having Scott around. We're going to put those extensions into a partition. I generally would set up a kind of a voicemail partition in my systems for my clients. Uh, they've actually set it up as just an internal partition, which is perfectly fine as well. But I, I do like to uh, kind of segment voicemail components and voicemail configurations from even internal dialing. All right, so my name is uh, Stephen Holzer. I uh, work for Mount Core Technologies. I've um, been working for one of the government agencies, Homeland Security, for kind of six years now. I've uh, taken a couple, ta a couple classes with Think Tank. Um, CCNA, CCNP, CCNP Collab now. I've uh, been able to really provide value to Homeland Security doing their networking. So President Josh uh, had some experience uh, working with you guys before and he had sent me to the first class, uh, CCNA Quad. De definitely got me a good intro into networking and, and what I'm doing now today. So I've done some like VMware training too and they read from the course material just like it's very straightforward and doesn't have any kind of like real world applicability. But that's one thing I guess Think Tank does well is they bring that experience and they have uh, the knowledge of what actually happens in the real world versus just the courseware. All right, so this is going to take us to our basic call manager administration page. Now throughout the course, we'll talk about other options for configuring Unified Communications Manager, uh, as well as the other platforms. But you do have at the top right corner of the screen here, kind of a primary application navigation dropdown 
where you can actually go to five different uh, applications, or in this case, six different applications to manage this CUCM platform. I'm John Welby. I'm a cybersecurity architect with Mount Core Technologies and currently supporting Department of Homeland Security. I heard of Think Tank through my employer, Mount Core Technologies, and we're using this to get certified to hopefully win a, a government contract. So I have my CCIE route switch, but it's inactive, so I can use this as essentially the written to reactivate it. So I'm CCIE number 3646, got an electrical engineering undergrad, got my MBA, and I went to law school as well. I'm one of those guys that's a lifetime learner. I always want to learn. I'm thirsting for knowledge. And really, certification is a way to, to prove to employers or in the, in the government contracting business that you're qualified. I think you have to find out you know, what your passion is and then go towards that and go all out. I mean, have fun, but you know, get, his, get the certs, but also get the real world. So it's actually getting the experience and uh, doing.